Let's go to number seven, how to resize. All right, let's continue with number seven, which is one of my favorite things in Express, and that's how to resize templates or your content for different platforms that you want to post it on. This is a square post, which is great for Facebook and Instagram as a post. But as we know, if it were a story or a TikTok story or a short or a reel, it would need to be vertical. If we know it was going to be a Facebook profile picture or banner, it would need to be wide. So a lot of times you need something, the same content to be in different sizes for the different uses you're going to use it for. So let's take this tennis match and let me show you what I mean. Now this tennis match has a background photo. And when I click on it, I notice that uh, this is a very important option. It says detach page background. That means the background is already attached. If you want to have a good resizing experience, whatever your background is, whether it's an image, a box, whatever it is, you want to attach it to the background. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and create uh, a, new, a new background for it, or let's just go get a new background for it. Let's say that we don't like that tennis photo. We want to go to media and we want to go to tennis and we just want to find some tennis images. All right, so let's say I like this one better. Now, when I bring that one in, it's obviously on top. We learned about layers already. And I wanna go ahead and click on it and notice now my option is to replace page background. If there was no background, it would say attach to background. So I'm just gonna say replace page background. Now that's my new background. Because it's the background, it will automatically resize to fill the background of the new size. That's why attaching whatever the background is to the actual background is important. Not just putting it there, but physically hitting that attach button. All right, so now we got that. And of course we could still go in and move stuff around and kind of make it look better. And even though I didn't group those, I just selected them so I can size them all at the same time. And same thing with this line here and this line here. I'm just selecting all these things so I can size them and move them together as one. Just so you know, you can do that without grouping. And of course we want to keep things aligned wherever possible. So we want to line those up on the sides. Okay, anyway, that's enough about design. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so we got this ready to go. And now I want to, I need two more sizes. So you notice there's a resize button up here. When I click resize, I want to keep the square because maybe I'm going to put that one on, I don't know, Instagram. But I also want it to be a story. So I want to check off Instagram story. And notice how the recommended sizes are the most popular ones. But if there's a size that you want that's not here, first of all, you can create a custom size. You can type in whatever you need it to be. And just about every social media print format you can imagine is already here. So these are all set and ready to go. And like for like for formats and, and places and things I've never even heard of. But like the, the social media team and, and Express or the Express team does a good job of making sure they go and find every possible way to do something. So now LinkedIn blog post, for example, is 1200 by 628. I'm going to go and choose that. Now, the minute I chose more than one. So remember, we chose, um, is it still there? Instagram story. Should still be checked. Anyway, Instagram story. And now we have a LinkedIn blog post. And so we got two sizes. The minute you have two or more sizes, you can do three, four, as many as you need. But the minute you have more than one, Resize gets grayed out because you're no longer just resizing the one page to be the new size. You're saying duplicate, keep this page, but give me the other sizes as new pages. Because yes, Adobe Express supports multiple pages. So when I say duplicate and resize, just like magic, it gives me the two new sizes. I still have the square. I now have the Instagram story and I now have the, the Twitter or I'm sorry, LinkedIn blog post. Now, they, they, that doesn't mean they don't need to be tweaked. Like I see some things I would change. So for example, let's go to the story, double click, takes me to the story page. And actually, now that we have all this room, maybe you want to take that, make that bigger, move that up a little bit. And maybe you want to take its game day and make that bigger because we've got some room vertically. And want to take all of these elements and move them over here. 
and we'll make those bigger because it's a story. So people are going to see this happen pretty quickly. So we want to give them the size to read it. That's done. Now, how do I get to the next page? You have arrows to go back to the square, to the story, and now to the blog post. Same kinds of things. So we got all the room in the world now for this blog post size. We can make that nice and big. Put that over there. Actually, let's move it up for a second. Let's get this stuff all selected. Move that maybe down here. Now we go back to this and this. Just holding down the shift key and selecting those. And then we make game day over here on the side and make that nice and big as well. And then of course we can take these and align these with the bottom there and make those bigger as well. Maybe not as big. So now I've got all three sizes ready to go. That's resizing in Adobe Express. Favorite, favorite feature. Because I can get, I can build something once and repurpose it for all the different platforms that it needs to go on.